Hi folks, let's get this board centered. Uh, it's better. <coughs> it's been a two millimeter MDF. Uh, I've rubbed down and just well, and primed with a, some undiluted PVA glue. So hopefully that's uh, nice and sealed. I've got my paints here, the oil paints, a bit of CAD yellow, uh, medium, pale, yellow ochre. Uh, white, of course, cadmium red, ultramarine and paints grey. And a, just a bit of old MDF as a makeshift palette. <coughs> I was asked on uh, YouTube yesterday by, by a subscriber uh, why I didn't paint the one I did yesterday on uh, a white background so I could scrape out. Well, I do paint gessoed, white gessoed boards for my larger oily ones where I use a lot of linseed oil and rub and wipe out. So I am lifting out onto the white using all sorts of uh, means at my disposal to remove the paint. Uh, but with, with the knife paintings or for a solid oil painting this is an ideal mid-tone which gives you a correct, well a, a more correct value by comparison, if you put white on a white background, it doesn't show. If you put black on a white background, it looks too black. But if you paint onto a like a burnt sienna, burnt umber, this light sort of light raw sienna, uh, burnt sienna, raw sienna, uh, you you you've, you're in the middle between the light and the dark, so your values are more likely to be realistic or as you would like them to be just show you a few knives. I'm not going to use them all. These just are some of the ones I've got collected over the years. I'm going to try to use oops, that one. Uh, the, more of a mixing palette knife. But then we've got these lovely the, the workhorses. These do a lot of the fine detail and the broader detail. So I'll put those there. You need a um, oh I've got this one as well. Just a palette knife. And what's left of my big roll of paper to clean the knife as I go. Um, I'm looking on my Facebook page, Dave Usher Facebook page. Go and have a look if you're on Facebook if you've not uh, never seen it before. There's plenty of links on the videos to it. I've got 1800 timeline, well 1820 timeline photos. Several of them are actual photographs of of views along the river one etc but I've got loads of stuff to work from my own stuff now I do work from photographs mostly from my own stuff I, I try not to copy I don't certainly didn't copy the one I painted yesterday from the river Wandle. Uh, but that that um, it was great to take a photograph coming back along the Wandle on the way home with the aching limbs uh, mind you only do 12 miles so at our age uh, 12 miles is better than nothing uh, so I saw the, the view I've seen it hundreds of times but it just struck me the light coming from the rice and the sh shining on the on the, the river in full flow it, it's only a small river it's not the Amazon it's a, a Surrey chalk stream but when we get a lot of rain it can flood that's why we call it the Wandle Valley where Morton Hall Park is. And uh, it was lovely to take the photograph, go back, have a bit of lunch, have a little rest, watch the news, and then go and do a painting of it in acrylic. But this is oil. I prefer oil by a long way. But they don't all turn out well. And they're quite difficult to change when they're thick paints. So I'm going to find my pen, pencil, got this lovely, lovely propelling pencil, Koinor, uh, great, so it's like it says 4B lead, well, just goes into there like that, I usually push the lead back when I finish with it because it's vulnerable and it's quite a soft leg, lead, uh, right, so I'm going to do a bit of a 
bit of bit of this. Just a simple oil painting. Get rid of that. Um, Well, that'll do. We don't need to make it complicated. Right. Okay. That'll do. That's a, that's enough. Uh, right. So, so I start with the sky mainly because if you start from the bottom up and then start coming down here, your fingers will get into that paint and. Uh, ruin whatever you're trying to do. So we'll have a, well we could have a quite a calm scene for this. So let's get a bit of white, a bit of blue, mix them in. My problem now is not getting my finger in the blue. Oh, uh, let's just This is 8 inches by 10. And I've just taped it to the board. It's a bit hard to, to hold on the uh, on the, the, the easel uh, clips. So I've just stuck it with the masking tape to to the board. My favourite knife painter is is Sir Catherine Williams, died oh, about 10, 12 years ago. Fabulous, fabulous artist. A little bit of red in there, I think. A bit of yellow ochre. Blend. and we can refine it as we go along. Be prepared to use quite a bit of paint on these sort of paintings. Can be a red bit of bit of ochre. Got a nice warm cloud. Just getting some paint on, then we can we can do some modelling. I don't do it the same way every time. I just make it up as I go along, really. with a bit of light bluish, very light blue under some of that. It's quite hard on your wrists and my wrists aren't very good. I'm not over mixing, mixing the uh, paints. Might put a bit of cloud in there. Don't 
don't try to aim for a finished painting to start with, it'll be very discouraging. Because you'll get impatient, just put the paint on and then you can refine it. It's a bit dark. Uh, blue, red, white. Let's get this bit of background. Catherine Williams worked from a very basic palette, unlike me, and his painting tended to be drab, but he painted the North Wales landscape, coast Anglesey, which is an island between Wales and Ireland. Okay, let's just get a bit lighter in there. Bit of ochre in that. You can make as many planes as you like. Planes, I mean, uh, extra extra hills. But with North Wales, in part, is very rocky. Sort of, I wouldn't say large mountains like Snowdon, but it's lovely. It's really lovely. Warm up a little bit here. All right, there we go. I haven't even got a cup of tea. <coughs> Just sort of floating there. All right, okay. I haven't finished the sky yet, but I was thinking of a bit of a I'm not going to use Payne's Grey, I'm going to use white, blue, red and plus the uh, ochre on the palette to get a bit of a cloud shadow. The one I did yesterday I used to the red ochre. Take your clouds off. Now, that's probably too dark. So I'm going to make those hills there. I'm going to add a bit of grey in that and darken the, the top. Otherwise it looks as if it's another mountain range. I might just refine it a bit, but... Black Mountains. I absolutely love doing these. I hope it shows. I 
it's like doing crazy paving and pointing it up. Right, well that's interesting. Right, I'll just I think I'll model some of this. Get it a little bit lighter. But we don't want the knife to look like a brush painting. Well I don't. Right, well it's interesting. Right, let's get a bit of warm colour, warm greens on some of that I think. A bit of paint scrub, a bit of yellow, cad yellow. You do need a bit of a steady hand for this. I can put some, oops, put some lighter. Right, now we want some lighter green. Hold the palette, big palette. Look at that green, just with uh, cadmium yellow and Payne's grey. Beautiful. Now, light against dark. Can add a bit of white in there. Always counts a change. Sorry if I've knocked the uh, So we get some nice, nice counter change in, in this. So we can. Get a bit of light. Blue green.
Now, I need some... I'm going to fill in this, so we've got to get some water in there. So, But we want broken water, so we'll have white. It's a bit of yellow ochre. Well, let's have a touch of blue in that. I'm going to lift, raise the camera up, I'm feeling my head. I'll move it a bit forward. Or oh, I'm hitting it with my head. Okay. An old client, client of mine years ago uh, used to paint very small knife paintings and I was very impressed with them. So I went and did my own. They were little gems, they weren't uh, graphic or finished. Right, we'll, we'll put in a bit of a uh, bit of bit of cloud, that cloud reflection. Need to do something with that. I'll do that now. Uh, Oh, there's a bit of the ochre and a bit of Payne's grey, I think. Ooh, touch of red, touch of this, that, touch of that. Get some red in there. When you work from a limited palette like this, it makes you or helps you learn other mixes. Get that bit of warm air, was nice. Bit of ochre. Well, we'll put a bit of a bluey greeny stuff in there. A bit of dark red in there. Well, 
Okay. It's a bit budged, but I'll just smooth this. Right now, uh, sort of a slate, slate grey. Too, too busy there. Change the colours here, bit of ochre in there. Oh, it's a lovely day yesterday, it's uh, rainy now. And I bought a couple of trout from the supermarket this morning. Alright, let's get some yellow ochre now, mixed in with a bit of grey, a bit of palette green. Bit of a messy business. I'm <coughs> using quite a large knife for quite a small painting. But I want to just come into there a little bit now. Get some ochre. I think, unless you're very skillful, keep it simple, stupid. Let's try to do some some lights on these rocks. Right, let's get some water in there now. A bit of white and a bit of blue, but it makes sort of make a grey. Right, 
Right, I need to get out some more white, I think. Well, grey now. I think I picked up some dodgy white. So I don't like to waste my paints. So I scrape them off, off another board and stick them on in. But, see, you know, the paint had dried. I don't usually work on my paintings once I've done, unless it's something really obvious. Occasionally I, I do. I'm going to put some reflection in that. Just mixing up a sort of a bit of a grey green. Right, so I've got the uh, the broken water there. Right, okay, now um, I don't think I want to do any more to that. I'm going to carefully take it off of here. I uh, apologise for any bad language. I'm going to take this off, so uh, bear with me. Oops. So I want to get the board ready behind, ready to uh, put on the uh, on the slider here. Right, I'll just put it in the frame.
Oh, that's the one I did yesterday. Uh, one of the two I did. I've added a couple of, I've put a couple of coats of PVA glue on it. Ah! To uh, seal it, make it nice and shiny. And it brings out the, the, a bit of varnish. PVA glue is a varnish, really. It's a glue varnish. It brings out the, the, the colours that sort of die in, like some of the, the darker browns. <coughs> well, I'll put a couple of pins in just to hold it. Okay, there's another little knife facing for us, or for you. I'll just come down a bit to there, put out there. Come back a bit. Oh, there it is. Probably the uh, the clouds a little bit. So that, but I'm not going to do anything to it. It's what it is. It's a demonstration. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.